Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. The United States of America has been doing pretty well considering their advancements in the field of military and technological advancements. But their production of robots has been claimed to be just slightly above the average. In order to cope up with this, the USA has been working consistently to make their mark. But what kind of robots are they making? How will they raise their slightly above average mark? What measure are they taking to reach the top? Continue watching the entire video to know more. America has been on the run to become the greatest in every field. They have been on the forefront of all types of innovation and technological advancements. From the creation of the smartest consumer products to creating the first human-like artificial brain. Their list of innovations never ends. With strenuous use of artificial intelligence, it has been getting increasingly sophisticated at doing what humans do, but more efficiently, more quickly, and at a lower cost. The potential for both AI and robotics is just huge, and we cannot stress that enough. Reports suggest that there are about 293,000 industrial robots operating in the factories of the United States. These robots may also include the simple household one, like the Roomba, or the sophisticated autonomous aircraft like the MQ-9 Reaper. A bionic eye is a visual prosthesis, an artificial eye that can provide visual sensations to the brain according to the environment. It consists of electronic systems having image sensors, microprocessors, receivers, radio transmitters, and retinal chips. It is made for the blind or the visually impaired people who have damaged their optic nerves, which prevent the transmission of visual data from the retina of the eye to the visual cortex of the brain. It is a technology of the future, which can even provide vision to the blind. Tufts Medical Center in June 2017 was the only medical center that became the first and only hospital in New England to offer implantation of the bionic eye. But as of now, the implantation facilities have become widespread. The potential to be able to see clearly has been taken for granted by the mankind. There are more than 200 million visually impaired people in the world who are either partially blind or are completely taken over by the complete blindness. The bionic eye is a medical advancement that many researchers and medical experts have come up with in order to fight blindness. The bionic eye made its first appearance in the movie Robocop. While the world is still not advanced enough to create a perfect bionic eye, the researchers are still trying to make an attempt at achieving the best they can. And as it seems, their attempts are making a breakthrough. Recently, a team of researchers at the Monash University has made an incredible breakthrough. The team of researchers have reportedly become successful in developing a Generis Bionic Vision System, more popularly known as the Bionic Eye. The Bionic Eye developed by them can overcome the disabilities of their optic nerve by making an alternate path for transmission of visual data from the retina to the visual cortex of the brain. Researchers all around the world have been trying to cure blindness by coming up with various bionic solutions. However, none of them have been successful and none of them have been able to make it to the market to help better people's lives. Moving on, we have a robot that goes by the name of Parkour. Yes, this robot, as its name suggests, can perform parkour tricks just like a real human. Parkour is an excellent sandbox from the Atlas team at Boston Dynamics in order to experiment their new behaviors. There have been videos of this robot that are spread all over the internet, where the video demonstrates how the robot works along with their whole body athletics, maintaining its balance through a number of rapidly changing, high-energy activities through jumps, balance beams, and vaults. The company has demonstrated how they take their team to its limits in order to discover and innovate the next generation of mobility, perception, and athletic intelligence in the field of robotics. Next up, we have the most commonly used military weapon by the US Army for inspection and bomb disposal. PackBot, the military robot that the US Army uses for inspections and bomb disposal, has practically no onboard intelligence and is steered using remote control. What the Army has long wanted instead are intelligent robot teammates that can follow orders without constant supervision. However, the recent reports now suggest that they are now one step closer to what they wanted. The Army's research lab has been reported to have developed a software that allows robots to comprehend verbal instructions, carry out simple chores, and report back. The potential rewards are tremendous. Robots that are capable of understanding commands and have a degree of machine learning intelligence that would one day be able to go ahead of troops and check for IEDs or ambushes, it could also reduce the number of soldiers as a human needed on the battlefield. Even self-driving cars don't have a high enough level of understanding to be able to follow instructions from another person and carry out a complex mission says Nicholas Roy of MIT, 
who was part of the team behind the project. But our robot can do exactly that. Nicholas Roy has been reported to be working as a part of the Robotics Collaborative Technology Alliance. This alliance is a 10-year project led by the Army Research Laboratory. Its team includes researchers from MIT and Carnegie Mellon who are working alongside the government institutions like NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and robotics firms such as Boston Dynamics. The program finished last month with a series of events to show off what it had achieved. A number of robots were put through their paces, showing off their manipulation skills, mobility over obstacles, and ability to follow verbal instructions. The dog is a perfect example of what we're aiming for in terms of teaming with humans, says project leader Stuart Young. Just like the dog, the robots should be able to take verbal instructions and interpret gestures, and at the same time, it will be controlled via a tablet and return data in the form of maps and images, so that the operator can see exactly what is behind the building as an example. The team has been working on finding a hybrid approach to help robots make sense of the world around them. Since the technology would require image recognition, deep learning techniques would sound quite beneficial. Therefore, algorithms similar to those Google uses to recognize objects in photos let the robots identify buildings, vegetation, vehicles, and people. Senior ARL roboticist Ethan Stump says that as well as identifying whole objects, a robot running the software can recognize key points like the headlights and wheels of a car helping them work out the car's exact position and orientation. Although several groups of people have already expressed their concerns over the technology of fully autonomous weapons platforms and ethical implications of artificial intelligence on the battlefield, many defense systems are being developed with the aim of relieving human forces from strain or danger. Moving on to the latest one. We have the robot that has taken all of the internet with its lovable experience visualized in the movie Avengers. Yes, we are talking about the one and only Groot. The research and development team of the Disney Labs, commonly known as the Imagineering Team, have been doing extremely well with the innovation in the robotics field. From making stunt doubles and lifelike Navi to skinless weirdos, they have got it all covered. However, their latest creation seems like a robot that has literally walked out of a movie. Yes, this robot is none other than the most famous and loving Groot from the Avengers. It is a bipedal Groot that is capable of walking slowly without any strings or controlled wires attached. TechCrunch's Matthew Panzarino has the lowdown on this robotic milestone for Disney. They have been trying to develop automatically steered autonomous robot actors for its parks, under the name of Project Kiwi. The engineers of the company have been spending years creating their own bipedal freestanding robotics platform as a part of the company's long-term effort to power robots like the Groot. The gait is smooth, the arms swing in a lifelike manner and the feet plant realistically. The body sways exactly as you'd expect it. There's no other way to say it. It's ambling, says Panzerino. Did we miss any robot that you are aware of? Do you think that robots will be the future of automation? Will robots be the cause of unemployment of humans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya.